How's it going, everyone? Big win for the Irish today. I couldn't be any more happier right now. We are now back at the 500 mark at 3-3, three and three, and I think it's safe to say after this win today, we now control our own destiny. We hold it in the palm of our hands, and we now have a great chance to make a splash, get on a nice little roll, and make a statement to the rest of the college football world, and get back to where we need to be as a football program. Now, as for the game today, overall I was happy with how we played. But at the same time, I was disappointed. But right now, I'm just going to focus on the good. Quarterback Dane Chris. This guy, week in and week out, continues to get better and better and better. Um, he did have a few mistakes today, but nonetheless, there's been progress. Today, he threw for well over 200 yards and one touchdown, and he also ran for a touchdown. So once again, another positive and great weekend in the, uh, on the field today for Dane Chris. Another guy that I was really happy with was Armando Allen. Now, Armando didn't have any touchdowns or score any points for that matter, but he had a great day running the ball, and he did a great job with uh, putting us in position to get points. Now, you know, even if you're not scoring touchdowns and just you know, getting us in, into position, that's still doing your job, and Armando did his job today very well. And another guy that continues to stop, impress me nonstop is... Wide receiver Theo Riddick. Now this is a running back that's converting to a Z slot receiver. And he had a great day catching the ball. And look out for him. This guy is going to be, uh, he's going to be wrecking havoc in the future. It's just, he, he is another one who continues to get better and better. And he's making the transition from running back to wide receiver very well. Now on the defensive side of the ball, overall I, w I was happy with how we played. Um, we did keep our guard up, hold our ground, made some key stops. Um, forced a couple of missed field goals, and that, that turned out to be the difference in the game today. Um, now, despite the good play, we're still continuing to make these little mistakes that I've talked about nonstop in just about every video so far. We have not seen one game of error-free football. I mean, if we're going to make errors, we have to at least try to minimize them and keep them to a, a very low minimum, if that makes any sense. But, just... You know, we, we have the game put away at 20 to 3, but we cannot keep it. I mean, basically, watching this game today was like watching uh, Marty Ball. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about when I say Marty Ball, I'm referring to Marty Schottenheimer when he coached the San Diego Chargers. You know, there were plenty of games where the char when he was coaching, the Chargers would be up, say, I don't know, 28 to 3 at halftime. And then all of a sudden, in the second half, the score would be 28-24. And that was one of those games today. I mean, once again, I'm not trying to sound like a biased Notre Dame fan or a, a Notre Dame fan who is self-centered and has his head up his ass. But we gave Pittsburgh so many opportunities today to get back into this, into this game. Several three and outs. Um, not to point out one particular uh, guy uh, individually, but the 56-yard touchdown that Baldwin had, Jamar Slaughter, man. What are you thinking? Stay on your man. I mean, you could. It, it was easy to tell it was going to be a pass, so what are you doing breaking towards the quarterback? Stay on your guy. But it was just a series of mistakes, not just defensively, but offensively as well. Dane Chris was, uh, is still overthrowing guys, wide open guys. Um, so a couple of drop passes by some veteran players like Kyle Rudolph and Mike Ragone. But. Nonetheless, the drop pass by Mike Ragone that I'm talking about, and all you saw the game today, you know what I'm talking about, with three minutes left, and we're driving to put the game away, second down and four yards to go. Now, whether, whether Ragone caught the ball or not, why are we passing the ball in that situation? Pittsburgh has two timeouts left. Run the football. Even if you don't get the first down, you're still forcing Pittsburgh to use one of its timeouts. Then if you have to pass, go for it. But the objective there is to get Pittsburgh to use their timeouts and end the game. And you should not, you don't pass in that situation. I mean, like I said, I've said before, I'm no coach, but that is a pretty easy call, okay? But one positive thing that I can say is we, at least we didn't turn the ball over today. That, that, is a, that is a good thing, okay? We, first game that we haven't had any turnovers, so I, I was happy with that. But still, 
giving the other, giving Pittsburgh the opportunities to get back into this game, unacceptable. That's almost just as bad as a turnover. But I'm sorry, but in my honest opinion, the final score should not have been 23 to 17. We should have won this game by at least 20. But you know what? As I always say, a win is a win. It doesn't matter if it's by one point or by 50. A win is a win, and we got that today. But we cannot continue to make these silly little, little mistakes because it, it, it has shown this season. They come back to hurt us. So, you know, I'm not trying to be a, a dickhead or, you know, being grateful that, you know, we didn't win by 20 points or something like that. I am happy that we won, but damn it, we're a better team than this. We should not be making these silly mistakes, especially the, our veteran guys who are the ones making them. Unacceptable, guys. we got to fix it. Now, if we're not careful, you know, teams like Western Michigan, Tulsa, Navy, they're going to take advantage of it, okay? Now, maybe the, these teams that we have coming up aren't exactly, you know, high-profile teams like, say, Texas, Oklahoma, Florida State, so on and so forth. They're still going to bring their A game, and we cannot be overlooking these guys. So, clean up the mistakes. But other than that, like I said numerous times already, a win is a win, and I'll take it. So, that's really all I can say about this, guys. We are 3-3. Three and three. we got a great chance now to turn the season around and get back to being a winning program. So, with that, guys, this is Big Sean Power 10. I'm out, and I'll catch you later.